Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure in welcoming you all on behalf of Wisdom Tree on the occasion of the launch of the book, The Secret Red Book of Leadership by Dr. Avdesh Singh. We have with us today Mr. N. Ram as the chief guest, Mr. T. S. Krishnamurti and Mr. Krishnamachari Srikanth as the guests of honor. I once again extend a warm welcome to the distinguished guests of the evening. May I request Dr. Avdesh Singh and Mr. Shobit Arya to accompany our special guests, Mr. Ram, Mr. Krishnamurti and Mr. Srikant to the dais, please. Wisdom Tree is an independent Indian publishing organization that believes in creating books which are Indian in a sense and global in appeal. May I now invite its founder and publisher, Mr. Shobit Arya, to address the gathering, please. Mr. N. Ram, Mr. Krishnamurti, Mr. Srikant, Dr. Avdesh Singh, distinguished guests and friends. As we can clearly see on the book's cover, there is certainly something very fishy about this book. In fact, what the book does really is fish out uh, a lot of bitter and sweet, known and unknown, sacred and profane secrets about leadership. And that too in a, in a very relatable and comprehensible way. It really is, is a bag full of wit and wisdom coming your way. Um, Avdeshji's passion is, is infectious, his, his book is magnetic, and that is what has brought all of us together here for this wonderful evening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Dr. Avdesh Singh, the author of the Secret Red Book of Leadership, holds his B.Tech and M.Tech degrees from IIT and his Ph.D. in the area of e-governance from IITM Gwalia. I now request Dr. Singh to introduce the book to the audience. Writing a book of leadership is something actually very tricky job because there are so many books of leadership today that we feel what is so different in what different can be written. I am myself a very voracious leader and I must have read maybe dozens of books, if not hundreds of books, on leadership and the similar topics. What I found in the leadership books is that all the leadership books, at some point of time, become like, you know, a books of ethics, a book which teaches you how you should behave to be a good person. Because as if it appears that if you are good, people will automatically follow and then you become a leader. Love, compassion, integrity, ethics, all these are taught in most of the books which are about the leadership. But for few, for example, Chanakya and Machiavelli, who are generally derided by the intellectuals, there has been very few people who have been able to write about the true face of leaders. So it was a very difficult for me to write a book on that, and it required a lot of courage to actually speak the truth. In any case, I took the bait because I have been into the department for more than two decades. I have, I have the fortune of uh, interacting with many leaders, both in the business, politics, and also our senior officers who have taught me great lessons about leadership. And plus, I have also had the privilege of heading some of the organization where I have to myself behave like a leader to produce result. So combined with the experience and combined with my reading, I try to write this book. And this book I try to write in a way which is actually as true as possible and also as entertaining as possible. It should not become a dull reading, so it should become an entertaining reading. I have found that one of the great difference between leader and other people is the leader are duty bound to produce result. Or I can say those who produce result, those who achieve their goals are leaders. Most of the leadership book keep on you know, giving some fundamentals. They will tell you some formula. For example, they say you should be a good listener or they will say you should be very compassionate, or they will say you, know, you should have very high ethics. But in reality, if you see the leaders, they are not like what is described in the management book. So these quick fix solutions which are there, not that they are not, does not work. But one of the very important things is that the counter of that, if somebody has to be compassionate, he should be also tough. If somebody is, listens, he should also speak. And you should know when to speak, how much to speak, and when to Listen and how much to listen. That is very important. And that no books can teach you that you have to learn only in the experience. And finally, I just want to say that 
leaders are very important for the society because whatever we are whatever our thoughts are all thoughts have been given by some of the leaders some of the thoughts are coming from thousands of years some of the thoughts are coming from a different part of the world but there has been somebody who has created those thoughts who fought against his time whether he was socrates whether he was galileo he has given that thought and that thought has today become part of our life and we become part of that whenever there is a good leader he leaves and legacy gandhi has left a legacy which we are still carrying subhash chandra bose all the great leaders of present past have left the legacy and they have shaped the world so this book is about how to be a leader it has all the positives and negative shade i try to uh, cover and ultimately given the choice to the um, uh, readers to select and mold his life so with this i just conclude thank you very much for joining us here thank you thank you sir i would now request ms ankita singh the daughter of the author dr avdesh singh to bring forth the book for the launch Shri Krishnamachari Srikant made his one day international debut against England in Ahmedabad in 1981 followed two days later by his test debut against England at Mumbai Mr Srikant redefined batting with his power hitting may I now request Mr Srikant to say a few words please um dear friends I think I've got too many better leaders are coming on the stars than me. I guess uh, I have N. Ram, Mr. Krishnamurthy, Adesh. Of course, I didn't know whether to call him Avadesh Singh or Adesh Singh, <laughs> and my good friend Shobit Darya. Now, who is a true leader? A true leader is a guy who takes responsibilities. Who is a leader? A guy who doesn't blame others, who doesn't blame his team. When the team wins, you give credit to the team members. when the team loses you take up the responsibility and say sorry we lost i take up the responsibility that is a true leader in my opinion that is what cricket has taught me because i always believe that in life it's team work be it your own family it's team work husband wife daughter son against the team work and the husband is a leader unless and otherwise generally what happens in most of the household is we all become ding dings to the wives actually i believe that these kind of books are very very important even today i still read lot of motivational books which helps me a lot i'm not joking i really read lot of books and i there are certain books which i must have read 100 times or 200 times which i just keep it as a kind of a bedside book because these kind of books are very very important and i always believe that you are a learner till your death i mean all of us think at one particular point of time man i know everything i've been the captain i'm a leader i've been the managing director i've i've been the boss i've been the uh, commissioner whatever it is still we are all learning is one thing that as human beings if we understand that i think we'll become better people better personalities and in the bargain become better leaders too i just like to wish shobit i mean uh, adesh all the very best for his new book the secret of leadership and i'm sure people when people read this uh, this book and they will definitely get a few insights and i myself will definitely learn a lot from this book when i start reading this book slowly topic by topic good luck with uh, good luck to you adesh you. god be with you and may this book be a great success shobit i'm sure uh being a dis- what do you i mean publisher come distributor whatever you call it the wisdom that you have with wisdom tree will bring more wisdom to people across the world thank you very much thank you sir mr t s krishnamurthy graduated with distinction from st joseph's college bangalore and studied post graduation in economics from the ms university baroda and law from the university of madras He did MSc in Fiscal Studies from the University of Bath, UK. He commenced his career as a probationary officer in the Bank of India Limited in 1961 and joined the Indian Revenue Service in 
He worked in the income tax department in various capacities for over three decades. He rose to become secretary, Department of Company Affairs, Government of India in 1997 and was appointed as Chief Election Commissioner of India in February 2004. May I now invite Shri Krishnamurti to please share his views about the books with us. Very good evening to all of you, Mr. Ram, Mr. Srikant, Mr. Arya, Mr. Adesh Singh, distinguished members of the audience. I see Mr. Rao, a good old friend of mine, and other members of the Indian Revenue Service. First of all, let me say how delighted I am to be on this, to be associated with this book launch function. I am reminded of a statement made by my professor was known as Professor Asiruvatam in uh, St. Joseph's College, Bangalore. He used to tell us one uh, goal that every person should have. He says whether a person is a good leader or not is judged on the date of his death. Whether he has left a legacy behind him or whether people say that he is a good riddance. Let me say that Mr. Adesh Spring books opens up new areas. It is true there are a number of books and publications on this subject. He has tried to bring in a new kind of a, an approach where he has tried to combine with some of his experiences as well as some of the experiences of others. And he has quoted from almost every religion and every uh, president in every religion. It is true that leadership is a mysterious quality and what we see may not be the full picture. So I suppose such books will enable us to think wisely, to see that leadership is not a difficult quality because almost every person today can call himself to be a leader of a limited interest and it is possible to become a good leader. In his approach he has not um, gone on to the merits of a good leader and the demerits of a leader. Although he has narrated the, the various aspects of leadership. But ultimately, if you really want to create an impact on the mankind or on, a, on a, even a regional basis, you need to have certain essential qualities. And ethics may be irrelevant at some stages. But if you really want to command respect, you have to be highly ethical. There is no doubt about that. So may I take this opportunity to thank Tadesh Singh for inviting me and giving me an opportunity to read, read his book because I have read his earlier book as well. I must compliment him on his writing abilities. It's very lucidly written. And he has shown that uh, he has expertise not only in tax matters but also in others with ease and comprehension. My congratulations and best wishes to him. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. N. Ram is the chairman of Kasturi and Sons Limited, publisher the Hindu and Group newspapers. He has been in the media field since 1966 and held the positions of the editor-in-chief of the Hindu Frontline Magazine, Business Line Daily and Sports Star Weekly of the Hindu Group of Publications. May I now invite Mr. N. Ram to please share his thoughts with us. I had the opportunity to read the book and also to learn about the work and thinking behind the book, thanks to a fairly lengthy meeting with the author, Abdeh Singh, uh, in, in, my, in our office. The first thing about the book is that it is interesting, something that needs to be emphasized. It is interesting in the theme, or rather the web of themes it takes up, in the questions and dilemmas it examines and where necessary confronts without inhibition or cant or self-consciousness. 
in its freedom from play it safe, much to be said on both sides, conventional thinking. And it is interesting also in its assured tone and voice, its ability to engage general as well as specialist readers from time to time surprising them with its findings, hypotheses, and assertions. And the surprise at the end of the book is that it does deliver on the promise of the title by yielding a debatable and testable model of what constitutes leadership, what leadership is about, as he says, inside out. I think the secret red book works against the odds thanks to the clear-headed and hard-nosed way in which the author approaches a much-studied subject and also thanks to the overall plan and organization of the book. A wise leader knows that ends are more important than means. It does not imply that leaders have to necessarily travel on an evil path to achieve noble ends. But if they have to traverse that route for some time, they would not hesitate to do it for a noble end. This is the ultimate sacrifice a leader can make. For a leader, there is nothing good or evil. He tries to stay above these distinctions. He aims only at the result and achieves them for his followers by all means, but no one, I think, can reasonably dispute of this thing's conclusion that, quote, a leader becomes great when, and let me emphasize, only when he or she leads large numbers of people. I hope these remarks, along with the remarks of those who preceded me, including the author, have helped kindle in you a real interest in the web of themes, questions, and dilemmas brought together and examined in the book launched today. And I hope it has kindled in you a desire to buy the book and read it seriously and critically. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let me take this opportunity to thank our special guests and each one of you for making this evening enriching and successful. The function is not yet over. You have the author with you. You can get the author autographed copies now. You also have the opportunity to interact with the author and our distinguished guests during high tea. Thank you. Very much.